Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's B. Avery here for another episode of Just My Opinion. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. And in this episode right here, we're going to be talking about some casting, uh, some casting that I'm really, really disappointed about. I like the actor and I like everybody that is involved in this picture that may or may not happen. But just the casting right now really bugs me. Um, if you've seen the, you know, you've seen the thumbnail, if you've seen the title, title but deadline uh, reported earlier today, early this morning, uh, February 19th, uh, that Ryan Coogler and Macro set. Black Panthers pick with Warner Brothers, Daniel Kaluuya and Lakeith Stanfield in Talks to Star. So what they're trying to make right here is this a um, a movie about, you know, the Black Panther grassroots civil rights activist Fred Hampton. He only uh, he only lived to 21 years old. You know, uh, the FBI was investigating him. They thought he was a threat and they just wanted to eliminate him, annihilate him, assassinate him, just get him out the picture, you know, because he was on he was on that. He was uh, he was a rider. He was um, you know, he fought for, you know, black people in this country. And just, you know, he was really big in political education, you know, and all that good stuff. But now we have Daniel Kaluuya in talks to, you know, play him in this role. Now, I like Daniel Kaluuya. I think he did a great job in Get Out. Um, I think he did a great job in Black Panther. Got that right there in 3D and also in 4K right there. He's a fantastic actor. I did not like him in this his latest film, uh, Widows. Um, I thought his, I, I just thought that was a horrible job. Um, but I still think he's a great actor. You know, a lot of people were upset about him playing Get Out, um, the, that role in Get Out, because it was like, okay, hey, you're playing the role of an African American uh, experiencing racism in America, but you're not African American. Yes, he, you know, he is British. Yes, he is from overseas, and yes, they do uh, experience racism of there. Uh, but at the same time, I, I myself just feel like that role should have went to a black American and African-American. And th this is happening more and more in uh, Hollywood now. Uh, we have Cynthia Revo. Um, she's a great actor as well. She was in Widows. She was actually, I didn't really care for that movie, but she did a fantastic job in that movie. She also did a great job in A Bad Time at the L uh, Chaparral. Uh, I reviewed that film last year. Subscribe to my channel. Go check it out. She was one of the best people in that film as well. But she's been cast as Harriet Tubman in the Harriet movie uh, that's coming out later this year. And I mean, come on now, Harriet Tubman. I mean, I, I still feel that that role should go to an African American, a Black American. And we also had David Oyelowo, who was in Selma with Ava DuVernay a number of years ago. Martin Luther King, but it did not go to an African American. It did not go to a Black American. So. Uh, to be honest with you, this casting really does disappoint me. Um, I, I do feel that Samuel Jackson was right with his tweet that he made a number of years ago. Uh, you know, with him saying that you know African Americans, Black Americans are kind of, are, are being replaced in Hollywood. Uh, some of you may say, "Well, um, uh, Chadwick Boseman played Black Panther." Well, that is a fictional character. Uh, Wakanda is not real. You know, we all we all know that. You know, and I'm not saying that, you know, different, you know, black people from around the world, around the globe, you know, don't experience, you know, what we experience here. But there is a different degree to it. You know, we do have a justice claim over here. And I just feel that real life historical figures. I mean, uh, can you at least give that to us? I mean, we, we, just, we just been through so much, you know, again, not trying to say no one else has been through anything, but. You know, I, I'm not going to talk to you like I'm five here either. I mean, if you're watching this video, you, you know, for the most part, you understand what I'm saying. You know, I'm not going to uh, uh, spoon feed this, this to you. So I'm not trying to crap on you, Kuluya. I got nothing but love for you, my brother, and, and Lakeith Stanfield and Cynthia and, and David and all, all you people. But at the same time, I do not I do not like this. Uh, it does make me uncomfortable. It, it is very disappointing. Um, I, I hope that we can get a black American to pro portray uh, Fred Hampton and, you know, but, uh, you know, we're, we're just going to have to see. I'm going to keep an open an open mind. But at, at, the, at this time right now, I, I am not a happy camper. Uh, but guys, that is just my opinion. What do you think about these talks or this potential casting? Uh, what do you think about this video? Comment below down in the comment section below. Let me know. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine, but you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media. All that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen. But guys, before you go, I don't want you to forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. 
And that's just my opinion. Peace.